We got almost a whole gallon of blackstrap molasses, unsulfured. You don't want sulfured if you if you could choose. I mean, if you have to, fuck it. And uh, I took two cups out of this. So it's 112 ounces, I think. I'm gonna use a whole fucking thing. If you buy molasses, get it from eBay or somewhere like that, you get a lot cheaper. You go to the store, it's, it's gonna be outrageous. I paid 25 bucks for this shit, for a whole gallon. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm about to make some barbecue. All right, we got a funnel here. We'll put some water in here and shake it up. All right. Also, I'll put some coconut in here. This is a unsulfured, flaked, unsweetened coconut. Try and get unsulfured if you can. If you can't, work with what you got. Put all that in there. That's 12 ounces. Put some sugar, cup and a half, <laughs> two cups. Sugar probably ain't needed. I'm just doing it to be extra. Brown sugar. One cup. Two cups. <laughs> two cups and two cups. Then we're going to add some water. Five gallons. And yes, I know that brown sugar already has molasses in it. Just doing it for flavor. All right, once you get your molasses cleaned out and dumped in there all the way and all five gallons of water, you want to put it on your turkey fryer and let it start rumbling. Once it starts rumbling, make sure you stir it and uh, then we'll add some yeast after it cools down. What you want. Make sure you dissolve all that sugar. Coconut withers away to nothing. Black gold right there. Texas tea. Let it cool down. Add your yeast. I'm gonna put this in a ferment bucket. I could ferment it in this, but I'm gonna move it to a bucket because I got some other stuff I wanna cook. I'll make some uh, sugar shine soon too. All right, you wanna stir this up and aerate it. We got it moved to a five gallon bucket now. I think it's a little more than a five gallon, but it's whatever. Um, it's a brew bucket. Make sure you get a brew bucket. Once you get it good and aerated, you're gonna add 10 grams. A day to yeast or more <laughs> that's that's good right there the water tornado it's the yeast right here It don't matter the brand. You want to see that daity? That's what you want. D-A-D-Y. That's Distillers Active Dry Yeast. That's what you want. Put the lid on the bucket. Put your airlock in the top. Fill it halfway full of water. Wait about two weeks to three weeks, maybe a month. You wait till that stops bubbling. You gotta keep this thing in a warm place. All right, our rum has sat for well over two weeks. We actually let it go for about a month. We got tied up with some other projects. Today we're gonna add our rum to our still, and then we're gonna run it off.
this black is Big Easy soul right there. Look at that shit. Oh, it smells good too. Here's our solid bag. Yeah. Look at that shit. That's beauty full. I'm gonna assemble the still and give her a run. Put your gasket on your still. You want to put your lid on. run water through this thing you gotta get a little water pump going in through here coming out through here pulling this down and you're dripping that's the heads coming out right now we're gonna take 300 milliliters we're gonna throw it away because that shit's poison after that jar next jar is going to be the beginning of the hearts that's what you want all right our first jar full we're getting a reading of right under 130. right under 130. say about 128 proof that's the first jar. All right, our second second jar. It is uh, it's floating about just a little over one ten. So that's not too bad. For our fourth jar, we get a reading of forty. Which ain't bad. Now, if you ever made liquor, if you look, look at these jars. You notice that these, good and clear, and these two are a little cloudy. They got a little of the oil in them. A little of the oils. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. It just these are gonna taste cleaner. These two. Uh, however, I run this shit through a filter like most people do, and uh, I blend it. I like to get a blend of around 80. Sometimes I like to keep one good strong one, but right now I'm gonna blend all this. And I know some people are like, "No, give me that strong shit." It's like. I got some already. <laughs> I like to blend it and make a really good, really good rum. Do other things with it. So it's up to you with what you want to do at this point. Some people take the 40, and add that back to the next batch. Well, I'm not making the next batch. I don't need to drink that much fucking rum. So I'm gonna blend these four together, and I'm gonna do some weird stuff with them. You'll see. All right, we're gonna run it through a Brita, a Brita water filter. Clean it up. Uh, 
Now, if you use a brand new one, you're going to want to put it in there and run at least one tank of water through there to get this activated. We got it all mixed together. That's good. We're going to get a proof. A little more. Overall proof. Ninety. Think five. Shit, eight, eighty-nine. Down here on the bottom. Whatever. Of the shut up. It's the bottom of the ipcus, man. Ipcus. What's an ipcus, man? The ipcus is the water. You're stupid. You're, <laughs> You're using stupid. Your fancy words and shit up in here, man. My bad. The you bottom curved any part. <laughs> it's the bottom curved any part. Fucking Ipkins. Need about 86. 89. Okay, it's 89. Yeah. It's like 89. <laughs> we don't even care about the Ipkins. No, fuck the Ipkins. That's good enough for me. Smell strong. You smell that molasses. Ooh. You can taste it. Tastes sweet. It's like uh, you can tell it's brewed out of molasses for sure. It's totally different from moonshine. That burns too. It's got a good burn to it. It's got a little bit better of aftertaste than Moonshine does. I'll tell you that right now. It tastes like sugar, but without the flavor of sugar, I guess. I don't. I don't know how to explain it. But that's rum, straight up. I think we did pretty fucking good. Smells like molasses. It does taste good. It tastes like sugar, don't it? Yeah, like. It tastes like rum. <clears throat> it does. That turned out really good. Yeah. I can't wait to spice it and color it. <clears throat> that tastes so much better than moonshine. Oh, so much better than moonshine. You don't get that corn flavor. It's smoother and it's not as hot. I mean, it's hot. It's like the moonshine, but it's a lot smoother. Yeah, I was surprised. It definitely tastes a lot better after we run it through that filter. All right, so a lot of people don't know this, but just about whatever you run off the still is going to come out clear. They think that you just brew whiskey, it comes out brown. That ain't the way it is. It turns brown because they put it in charred oak barrels. Same with rum. Brown rum, dark rum, which is from charred oak. And if you don't want to spend $500 on a charred oak barrel, you're doing a small amount, you could buy this charred oak. It's pretty fucking cool. And uh, you just cut off what you need, and you let it sit for six weeks. So you let it sit for six weeks, and all them caramel colors and that oak flavor will, it will change your liquor. You can do this with moonshine, you can make whiskey. Difference between whiskey and uh, bourbon is you can make bourbon because this is new oak. Uh, bourbon is whiskey that is made, that is, that is stored in new charred oak barrels. And bourbon, or whiskey, Everything's fucking whiskey, but the difference is whiskey's put in old oak barrels or reused. So 
six weeks from now, this shit's going to taste all oaky and have that good caramel color. This is going to be our dark, this is rum. It's going to be our dark rum. You're going to add spice to this. And later on, we're going to make a spice rum video. We're going to take the same rum and we're going to spice it. Make some homemade Captain Morgan's type shit. It's going to be good. Fuck your mama. So first, where you're like, Shimmer the Shimmer the Blum House. Yeah, you're dumb. That's going on the end, bitch. <laughs> you're stupid.